What up, guys? A Rod RC here. Chilling in the garage. Beginning of Father's Day weekend. Went and touched up the outdoor course a little bit with some spray paint. Did a little maintenance on it earlier today, so I could have it ready for the nice weekend coming up. While I'm waiting for some clothes on the dryer to come out, I figured I'd bust out the axial. And uh, I do a little run on the indoor course with the axial. struggling this is the longest wheelbase I think about of all the rides I have that struggled with that corner squirrely This indoor course is pretty fun. Need to get some tumbleweeds for this area. I really like this area of the course. I'm definitely going to add some more logs. It will not be too much more, but enough more.
go. Get these ropes out of here. Maybe. <laughs> Quick little run through of the indoor course. Probably gonna add some more here. I ain't gonna lie. Ideas are already flowing. But uh on the other hand, I'll show you guys my system I got here. So I got a pulley system because my garage, as you can see, is already crowded as is. And with this in here, there's really no room for anything. So, I've seen a couple things on Facebook, YouTube, just a couple ideas. I've only really seen maybe two others that have stored their system this way. So I'm definitely not the first, but, you know, I haven't really seen too much more, at least that have, you know, posted it. But what I got here is just uh, some, it's just a Harbor Freight. Uh, bike storage system, pulley system. You know, they're not crazy industrial. I have it under here. If you can see. So you screw it in. I found the studs in my ceilings. Mounted that up there. I got it like that on both sides. Come over here with the other studs. have those mounted right here so there's two on each side so when I'm not using it it's out of the way and not taking up a whole bunch of space in my garage. It's pretty cool. Alright. Thanks for joining in. Tuning in. It's late, sorry. Thanks for tuning in to A Rod's RC. Let me know what you think of the pulley storage system. It's uh definitely comes in handy with this 4x8 platform that I have here in my garage. It's a one car garage, so there's not a lot of room here. Got the workbench over there. Got the minis on the shelf chilling. Right on, thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate the views, appreciate the comments. Until next time, peace out. From A Rods RC. What up, guys? A Rods RC here. Uh, kind of packing it up for the night. <clears throat> it's a little late. 
So I got all my stuff put away. Uh, and I also put the indoor course away. Check it out. So I got my pulley system installed. Uh, what I basically have here is my 4x8 uh, indoor course. It's basically the measurements of it. It's probably going to eventually get filled up. This was supposed to be meant for a space for me to come in with my chair, my stool, roll in here and go through the C-shape. But the way that I built it, that wasn't going to work, so I needed to put some framework underneath. So that's eventually going to get filled in now. Um, went through here, put some framework in so there was less bowing. I uh, went through, I got my buddy, actually, for my birthday, gave me a couple sets of some bicycle pulley storage systems that come with two hooks apiece. And so what I did was I drilled some holes into the hooks here so I could uh, drill some screws through and attach it to the framework. Found some studs in my walls and uh, mounted the pulley system <coughs> as close as I could, you know, to try and get it evened out with the course evenly spaced so there wouldn't be too much bowing in the middle so I have two on each end so for now this is what I got going uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get up and down just because the sides are a little far from each other and uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of going back and forth to get it down but it's pretty convenient, you know, to get this thing that takes up about half my garage. It's kind of messy. I'm getting some rid of some baby stuff. And, but anyways. So there it is. Stored up in the air. Super convenient. If you guys are able to do this, you know, and you need the room <clears throat> and have something like this in your garage, <clears throat> it's uh, it's not that hard of a of a process. I was able to do it, um, and it's not even that great of a job, um, but it gets the job done. So I'm able to have my kids in here come and do their crafts, and still have somewhat of a. Uh, decent garage with this up and out of the way and I'm I'm about 5'10 so this is me standing underneath it and I have I'm the tallest one in my family and I have plenty of room to walk in here and it's not blocking anything in here so this this is a pretty sweet deal here So if your indoor course is in your garage and you're worried about space, this might be a, an idea for you. I've seen it a couple times on YouTube, maybe on a face group, space Facebook group or two. But, uh, yeah. Harbor Freight, I think these things cost him, I said, he said, uh, I think 10 bucks, if that. Pretty sweet deal. And they work pretty good. Alright guys, uh, that's the quick vid of my storage pulley system that I have for my indoor course. Uh, it is pretty cool. Showed it to a couple buddies of mine and they like it as well. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. If you like the concept of what I got going here, um, I'd appreciate it. 
Until next time, peace out from A-Rod's Arsene.